I want to start off this video with a story. A story that genuinely happened to me that I think needs to be shared. The story starts about six months ago. I'm in the car with my friends. We're driving back from the movie theater. We just saw like Into the Spider-Verse or something. As we're driving, there's a car in front of us that keeps swerving all over the place. Like very, very erratic. So naturally, we were like, okay, we'll put in a tip to the police or something. Because like... That this could actually hurt somebody. I end up going online and find the local police station tip line while my buddy speeds up to try and get the license plate. An officer picks up, I tell him the situation, and then he says, okay, can you read me off the license plate? <laughs> This is where things get bad. Now, this license plate was a New Jersey license plate. So it was a letter followed by two numbers followed by three more letters. And the license plate looks something like this. So anyway, the police officer asks, can, can you read the license plate? So I start off by saying uh, L as in Larry. That's fair. I, I don't know why I thought Larry, but okay. 7-1-B as in Barry. Okay. I mean, a little weird, but K as in, uh, carry. Every single one of my friends in the car start erupting. And I go, G, and everybody's cracking up. G as in Gary. And I, and I start laughing because everybody else is laughing. I have to laugh. He goes, okay, thanks. And hangs up. After this situation, it got me thinking, maybe I should know the phonetic alphabet. You know, maybe, maybe I should. So what is the phonetic alphabet? It's also known as the military alphabet and the NATO alphabet. It's essentially a clear way of communicating letters when talking with somebody, whether that's over the radio or over the phone. Each letter is assigned a unique word. So instead of saying that letter, you just say this word. And it's supposed to help with miscommunication because none of these words sound like each other. Now, right now I'm gonna be taking a phonetic alphabet test to kind of see where I am and like how much I know. Listen, I've played Call of Duty before. I know A, B, and C and T actually. So now here's the deal. In 24 hours, I want to be able to score 100% on this test in under a minute. If I'm not able to do that, I will be sad. That, that's all that's on the line here. I may be 60% sure I could do this. So I'm not... I'm not putting a lot on the table here. I will say I've never studied a day in my life for anything. So... A is Alpha. I know that. B is Bravo. C is Charlie. We're on a roll, but I don't know what D is. Is it like donut or something? I had to look it up. It's Delta. E is Echo. Foxtrot, I know is F. I had to look this one up. It is Golf. It's Hotel? It is India. Juliet, right? Hilo. Is it Lima? M is Mike? What? November? O, is it Ozempic? No. I, that, that would have been wild. It's Oscar. I don't know P. I know Q. Q is Quebec. Romeo. Sierra. T is Tango. Uniform. It's Victor. Whiskey. I didn't know that. X-ray. I didn't know that. It says I got an 88%, but I looked up half of them. This is my actual percentage. Much like school. And I wasn't even able to get to the last three. I think I would have gotten Z if I had a little more time, but X and Y, I... I would not have got. Now I have some educational materials I wanted to run through to see if we can learn a better way to memorize uh, the alphabet. All right, so this video's title is Memorize the NATO Phonetic Alphabet in Seven Minutes, parentheses, easy, exclamation point. I got high hopes here. So we're gonna listen to what this guy has to say, hopefully take something good from it uh, and try and implement what we can. So. Let's, let's hear it. Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Echo, Foxtrot. How do you remember the NATO phonetic alphabet? The easiest way that I found to do this is not to memorize the list of the phonetic alphabet, but it's to tell a story. And it's three different stories uh, that I memorized that kind of get these words in my brain. Three different, I could get behind that. Three different stories that you gotta memorize and get in your brain. Let's hear it. Imagine that your name is Alpha and you say Bravo to your friend Charlie who's a flying a Delta plane. The plane flies so fast it echoes. The co-pilot is a fox named Foxtrot. They're flying to play golf and they stop at a hotel in India and pick up Juliet. Her luggage weighs a kilo. They fly to Lima and pick up Mike in November. And then with Oscar, their papa, they play in Quebec. 
That's a story. That's all the way up to Q. All the way up to Q? That's like half the alphabet. Okay. I feel like I could remember that. Let's hear these other two stories. Romeo in the Sierra Mountains is doing the tango in uniform. One more time. Romeo in the Sierra Mountains is doing the tango in uniform. All right, that's easy. Romeo, that's so much easier than the novel that he said before. Victor is drinking whiskey by the x-ray machine in Yankee Stadium with his friend Zulu. Victor is drinking whiskey by the x-ray machine at Yankee Stadium with his friend Zulu. I think this is something we can work with. I think the best way that I'm gonna remember these stories is if I write them down. I Like, anytime I write something down, I remember it better. Okay, so I just cleared off the whiteboard here, and I'm just gonna write out the story uh, a bunch of different times. The goal is to learn this in a single day. So I, I really gotta grind this out. Six times doesn't seem like a lot, but my arm hurts. Okay, so now I gotta do the other stories. I did some mining off stream. I'm actually like really confident. Like towards the end, I was just writing these down from memory. I would also like to point out how nice my handwriting is up top. I mean, it's not nice. It's pretty terrible, but it's better. And then as we got to the bottom, it just kind of like, just kind of gave up. But yeah, this took me like 30 minutes and I think it, uh, I think it actually helped a lot, like a surprising amount. So I was thinking to myself, what else can I do to plan for my final test? So I did some research on memorizing stories and a lot of what came up was for actors trying to memorize lines. So I looked into that and apparently, apparently, one of the big techniques for memorizing lines is recording yourself saying the lines and then listening to it before you go to bed. This is supposed to like embed it in your subconscious, I guess. Listen, I don't know the science behind it, but I'm taking the test tomorrow morning. So I figured I'll just listen to myself on re Pete saying these stories and then hopefully in the morning uh, it will like be in my brain I guess what's going on welcome to my room uh, I'm gonna be making the recordings that I'm going to listen to that are going to embed the NATO phonetic alphabet into my subconscious as I fall asleep. My name is Alpha and I bravo my friend Charlie. There they pick up Juliet who has a kilo's worth of luggage. Oscar, AKA Papa is then picked up in Quebec. Romeo in the Sierra mountains is tangoing. Victor is drinking whiskey. That actually went really well. I was able to remember all of that. We'll see how I do. I'm just gonna listen to this on repeat as I fall asleep and then tomorrow bright and early i will be taking the big test i don't know if i'm going to be able to get it in under a minute that's like a little over two seconds a uh, a word i don't know if i could type that fast i'm going to listen to this as i go to bed tonight and then hopefully wake up a new man a new phonetic man who's flying a delta airplane that echoes now this airplane has a co-pilot that's a fox his name is foxtrot it is T minus 10 minutes until the big test. I'm going to be reviewing the app to try and make sure I bring to surface what was embedded in me last night. Now that this airplane has a co-pilot, that's a fox. I've spent hours learning this. Hours. I spent all day yesterday. So I'm a little scared. A little scared. I feel like I'm going to be able to get it all, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it all in under a minute. You know? It is now time to take the quiz. Remember, the goal here is under a minute. And I don't think it's going to be possible. If miracles happen every once in a while. Maybe this could be one of them. I'm going to sit down for this. I also need to get the hair out of my face. So I brought a hat. How do I look? All right, I'm sitting down. I'm ready. Three, two, one. Okay, starting off with Alpha, then Bravo, then Charlie, then Delta, then Echo, then Foxtrot. Trot, then uh, golf, then hotel in India where they pick up Juliet, uh, a kilo, 
uh, Kilo, uh, Lima, and then Mike in November. November. Then Oscar is Papa in Quebec. Uh, Romeo, Sierra, Tango, Uniform. Uh, what is V? Victor. Victor. Whiskey. Uh, X ray. Y. A Yankee. And. No, 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 no. Uh, Zulu. Oh! Did I do it? Did I do it? What? 59 seconds. Holy crap, bro. Oh my god. I knew that. Like, I knew everything. It was like the only time I was messing up was spelling. Oh my god. That was nuts. 59 seconds? I learned the phonetic alphabet. How about that? Studying does work, kids. But, you know, I, I got this far. Well, hopefully next time I'm in a car with an erratic driver in front of me, I will be able to communicate with 911 at tip-top efficiency. Um, or I may just go with Barry, Larry, Gary, and Carrie. Uh, who knows? All right, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.